Hello everyone, Super Jerry 27's Nerd Cave here, back with a Xbox 360 Xbox Series X video. So if you like this type of content, please like the video and please subscribe if you're a uh, new viewer. I would definitely appreciate the subscription. Uh, but you're not here to listen to me prattle on about YouTube analytics and shenanigans. You want to see what Xbox 360 games are playable in your Xbox Series X, seeing as there are not really a lot of Series X titles hitting. So uh, why not hit that thrift shop or pawn shop and pick up some amazing goodness from years past. So Halloween is coming up. So I'm looking for spooky and spookier games to play. And there's nothing spookier than the original Silent Hill trilogy. Now, everyone gave this uh, port a lot of shit. This is the Silent Hill HD collection. Uh, I popped, well, so I have the disc, but it was like three bucks one time on sale. So I picked it up. And I remember people complaining that it wasn't the original voice actors. There's an option for that. So I picked that. And people say it graphically looks shitty. So I popped in my um, Silent Hill 2 on my OG Xbox. And I put this one on and I played them at the same time. And this one does look reasonably better. I don't see any huge like gaps. And it's a good way to play it because these game, these two games are like... 200 250 if you try to buy it for the original system so this is the way to go at the moment uh, until konami puts a real hd collection out or just gives us them bare bones somewhere but yeah it's fun you can play you know the second game or the third game i like them both very much now i'm not very far in the second game so i don't know if the the horribleness exists further on but right now you can play this on your xbox 360 uh, I will say this, though. I wanted to stream it. Can't stream it. Uh, for some reason, this is a game that is not allowed to be streamed. But I understand because there are a lot of spoilers in this game. So, yeah. There's there's one for your spooky months and your pumpkin spice lattes. Up next is a shooter from the good old days when uh, Ubisoft used to make A, complete games, B, good games, and C, games for men. Come on. Who doesn't want to fight fucking terrorism in Las Vegas as a soldier? Oh, fuck. Some sissy? I don't know. But, uh, I don't know. Rainbow Six Vegas, such a good game. One and two are great. Uh, this one's fun. It's squad-based tactical shooter, so it takes some time different getting used to. For me, I'm just used to the first-person shooter by yourself. But in this one, you can control a few other teammates to do stuff, to flank, to cover you, to stay, or they'll get fucking blown apart. But uh, this is a great game from Ubisoft's past, and I do not believe we will see another, any more games of this caliber from Ubisoft uh, for a bit, unless they go out of business, because it uh, doesn't look like Star Wars Outlaws is selling that much, and same with Assassin's Creed Shadows, so I don't know. I don't know. Now, poor Laura Croft. It's getting revamped and, and re, re-fucked over with, you know, Tomb Raider, or I don't know, Laura Croft, Tomb Protector. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to pay attention to that shit. I'm going to enjoy the three remasters and the, this trilogy, and I'll eventually get the HD trilogy, because those these are the best games. Uh, I don't think the new stuff's going to cut it, because, you know, we can't offend five people on Earth anymore. But, uh, I don't know, these are fun. Uh, this one, I believe, is a retelling. Yep, it's a, it's, this is a remaster or remake of her original game on the PlayStation 2 PC. It's fun, looks good. I mean, obviously, women really don't look like that, but who gives a fuck? She's running around, shooting tigers, finding treasure, taking it to museums, giving it to people, saving the world. Fuck. I don't know. I like these games. I'm glad they're backwards compatible because I'm probably going to stream them, even though I'm really bad at the puzzles, not going to lie. I am insanely bad at the puzzles. Eh, but, you know, eventually I'll get good at them. So, what? Three years ago or so, Near Automata took the world by storm, but a lot of people didn't know that this was a sequel to Near, And also, 
you know, a half-assed sequel to the Dragon Guard trilogy on the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3. But Nier, you play at... Is his name Nier? I don't even know. What the, I don't remember his name. I don't know. But your sister is sick, from what I remember. Or is it his daughter in this? Fuck. I played so many Nier games. There's like three that all came out about the same time. There's Nier, there's Nier Replicant, which is this game on the PlayStation 4. Uh... That was the one that was made for overseas. I guess uh, the creators didn't think that Americans would want like a skinny chick doing it, so they gave us beefy bra. But either way, the game is the exact same. Like basically, they pulled him out and put her in. It's really funny. But uh, you get this magic book. How are you trying to save? It doesn't say. I don't remember. I can't remember if it's if it's your daughter or your sister. But you're trying to save her. And uh, you get this book while you're, you're like searching for um, a cure for the disease that she has. And the book helps you fuck people up. It's a fun game. It is not pretty. Uh, the remake is a little, or not the remake, but the you know replicant's a little prettier. But this is a fun, really good game to play. Um, I don't know, very underlooked, very hidden gemish. But uh, I'd pick this up if I saw it. Or maybe get replicant. I don't know if that's on the Xbox One. Because sometimes they get stupid with the exclusives. And finally, this game I picked up because Metal Jesus suggested it. It's called The Outfit, and it's a World War II shooter. But I don't even know how to explain it. So you can control yourself and, and shoot and everything. But then you can get to points on the map and use points that you've gained by killing Ratsies to call in armaments, uh, bombers, you know, the, the you know heavy machine guns, more men to help you. And you just go through, like, that save in France. Um, it's really fun. Like, uh, I tried it a while ago, and I didn't enjoy it. But I started playing it recently again, and I'm like, God, this is actually kind of fun. It's a little addictive. And you can't beat these old World War II games where you're just fucking shit up, bringing peace and freedom everywhere. America! Fuck yeah. But yeah, these are five games that I found out by accident that play on the Series X. Like, I know there's a list out there, but that's not as fun as grabbing a game. You know what? I feel like playing Tomb Raider today. Let's put it in the Series X. And voila, Alaka fucking Zam, it works. So I know there's more out there. I found quite a few. So this is going to be another video series. But um, I hope you like it, and uh, hopefully I'll get to some games that uh, you have and that you can play in your Series X, since, like I said, there's, there ain't shit coming out for the Series X that I'm excited for. Uh, it sucks. Come on, Phil Spencer, do your shit. Talk to you soon.